Clanny Gale and Elfain both making their initial outing in this year's 1998 Senior Football Championship. Clanny Gale in blue, Elfain in their traditional tangerine and black. Referee for today's encounter is Seamus Regan from the Air Old Club in Knock Lane. The line outs of the teams Clanny Gale in goals, Phelim O'Neill. Right back is Niall Lennon, full back Joey Connachton, and left back Dennis Gavin. The half back line is Paul White, uh, Paul Bruce is number six, and Daniel Harney is number seven. Centre field is David Kelly and Parik Nocton. Number 10 is Aidan Sherlock, centre half forward is Enon Gavin, and number 12 is David Henry. 13 is James Nocton, 14 is Martin Kina, and number 15 is David O'Neill. The Elfin team line out as follows In goals, Brian Morkin. Number two, Martin Burke. Number three is Joe Burke. And number four is Tom McDermott. Number five is Kieran Gormley. Centre half back is Dermot Neary. Left half back is Brendan Neary. Centre field is Louis Dockery and Kieran Brady. Number 10 is Brian Higgins. Centre half forward is David Tansey. Left half forward is Rossi Callahan. Number 13 is Liam Butler. Number 14 is Inder Brady, the captain of the team. And number 15 is Chris Roddy. The referee is getting the four midfielders together out in the middle of the field. And very shortly, we'll be ready for the start of this senior football championship encounter. Very small crowd here in Hyde Park today. The good weather, no doubt, causing a big counter-attraction to a lot of people as the referee throws in the ball. And the 1998 championship match is on. And first to break away is Clanny Gale. That is uh, number nine, Parik Nocton, getting the ball uh, uh, up here into the full forward line towards the full forward. Uh, it uh, breaks out now on the far side. Clanny Gale in possession uh, in this early stage as the ball kicked over this side. The field is going very near the sideline. In fact, it's just in play by number 15. And number 15 is David O'Neill. David O'Neill is making his way in. Martin Burke is after him. Uh, David O'Neill takes his shot, but under pressure from the defender, he kicks the ball and he kicks it wide. Brian Morkin preparing to take the kick out for Elfin. Brian in black with the sun cap, hoping to launch this one out into the centre of the field. No score yet. As the referee tooting impatiently for the kick out to be taken. Brian comes up now and kicks it out towards this side of the field. It's going out between uh, Kieran Gormley and David Henry. David Henry is the man who gets the ball. David Henry is bottled up by three Elfin players, but nonetheless he gets the ball back. Uh, as far as number eight, number eight is David Kelly. David Kelly gets it in. Joe Bork intercepts it and he knocks it down to his brother Martin. Martin with the ball out near the sideline here. He takes uh, one solo with the ball and then uh, lobs it up into the middle of the field, but it only comes as far as David Kelly again. David Kelly in a lot of room in the centre of the field there. Uh, he's making his way in past the 50 yard line, hops the ball, then he passes it back to Daniel Harney. Daniel Harney with the ball, kicking it in towards goal there between the cornerback uh, Martin Bork and the, uh, uh, Tom McDermott and the corner forward. And the ball beats both of them and the ball goes wide. A short kick out this time from Brian Morkin. He gets it as far as centre half back Dermot Neary. Dermot Neary making a run out. He hops the ball and gets it out near the 50 yard line. Kicks it up here, very close to the sideline. Uh, Chris Foddy is uh, under the ball. Chris number 15 uh, kicking it up there into the corner. Liam Butler challenging for the ball, but the uh, Clan Gale defence seem to have this one under cover. Number five, Paul White getting the ball out. And the referee uh, blows his whistle and awards a free out to Clan Gale. This one to be taken by number six, Paul Bruce. Paul Bruce. Getting the ball down the field, uh, Dermot Neary a judge to have fouled his marker there, his marker was Enon Gavin, and there's a free for Clanny Gale on the Elfin 50 yard line. This free is going to be taken by Aidan Sherlock. Sherlock for Clanny Gale, wing number 10, ball just outside the 45 metre line. Ideal conscience. Hyde Park today as he kicks this ball in towards the goal. It looks to be going out to the right there. It's gone out to the right and the ball has gone wide. Three attacks for Clanny Gale, three wide for Clanny Gale, and Finn yet to get the ball into the Clanny Gale danger zone. We've we'll about three minutes gone in the first half. Once again, Ryan Morton lifts the ball on the edge of the small square, prepares to kick it out. <laughs> Alright. Brian, once again out to the side of the field. And uh, challenging for there is uh, number nine for Clan again. And number nine is uh, Paddy Nocton. Nocton gets it uh, into the corner here. And the ball is kicked in there by number 15. And number 15 is David O'Neill. David O'Neill kicks it in. But it's not going to reach as far as the goal as it comes, however, to the full forward. And the full forward, Martin Kina. Martin Kina being well bottled up there by two or three uh, Elfin defenders. Dermot here, uh, almost finished the field. Gavin has the ball for Danny Gale now. He makes his way past two and his kick is once again blocked down there. Brendan Neary uh, getting a great block in there and he comes away with the ball and the referee decides to award a free in for Danny Gale. Indicating that uh, it was an attempted uh, trip there on a Danny Gale forward and it's a free in for Danny Gale. 
This could be the opening score of the game as Sherlock comes over to take this one for Tanny Gale straight in front of the goal. Uh, out on the 14 yard line. So perhaps on their fourth attack, Tanny Gale now going to register the first score of this game. As Sherlock kicks it, and he kicks it straight over the bar. The opening score of the 1998 Championship game. Point for Tanny Gale by their free kick number 10, Aiden Sherlock. Brian Morgan taking the ball this time, out to the 3 1, kick out. Sun beaming down here in high track. Very leisurely start to this game. Both teams sussing each other out of this stage. Up, Kieran! Right, comes, kicks it now. Once again, it's out to the side of the here. As uh, the ball is uh, contested there by Kieran Gormley, but it's free to Tanny Gale. Uh, the gambit of kicking the ball out here towards Kieran Gormley on this side doesn't appear to be a great one as Kieran is one of the smaller uh, players to contest for high ball. The ball is with Heenan Gavin now a dangerous position for Tanny Gale. He has been chased by Dermot Neary and he's judged this time to overcarry the ball and it's a free out for El Fane. The referee bringing the ball on, Tanny Gale obviously the central ref decision and Dermot Neary is to take this one from out, uh, about 40 metres out from his own goals. Leaves it down for Brian Morkin, who strolls leisurely up to the ball. No panic on anyone this afternoon yet. <laughs> Referee once again impatient, uh, wants it to come quicker, and Brian keeps it out now. Far side of the field this time. Uh, it's not down there as far as the number seven. That's Brendan Neary. Brendan Neary getting the ball up into the full forward line position there, but it's uh, chased after by the Danny Gale full back, who was quite content to let the ball go harmlessly out over the end line and wide. First wide of the game for Elfin. Danny Gale already having registered three, but on the scoreboard it's Danny Gale one point, Elfin no score. Phelim O'Neill prepares to take the first kick out for Danny Gale from the edge of the small square. And we're about six minutes gone in the first half. Phelan, kicking it out through the middle. Contested there, a push in the back. This is the referee and a free for El Fenn. Out in the centre of the field. Pearton Brady has the ball in his hands. Looks to take a quick run and lobs it into the full forward position there. The full forward, Chris Roddy, corner forward there, gets the ball, feeds it well. Then knocks it down the shelf, Rossi Callahan, Rossi Callahan, well backed up by two or three players there. Uh, the ball going hither and thither, and finally the Tanny Gale midfielder number eight coming away with the ball. That's David Kelly, David Kelly, clearing it down the field. But uh, Dermot, uh, Brendan Neary, or El Finn, Brendan Neary has fouled. So came on to that one, and it is a free for El Finn. El Finn coming a little bit more to the game in the last few minutes. As Kim Brady once again kicks it out towards the corner, uh, out towards the end of Brady with uh, Ross Callahan kicks the ball in and Ross kicks the ball wide. That was a chance for Elfin. Ross studied the target, kicked the ball, but unfortunately for Elfin, kicked the ball wide. Come on, Elfin! Once again, Phil O'Neill prepares to take a kick out from the edge of the small square. The first one out the centre and does the very same with this one. Uh, out it comes, they're contested in the middle of the field. Uh, Elfin seems to get the ball. But, uh, once again, fall on and Elfin midfielder there, and it's free. Which Kieran Brady looks like he's going to take once more out of his hands. Kicks it over this side of the field, over towards Liam Butler. Liam Butler getting off the ball there. Uh, fumbles the first time, gets to it a second time. He's been uh, judged to have been fouled by the referee, or according to the referee, and the free is to be taken on the 50 yard line. Kieran Gormley and Liam Butler both looking at this one. Uh, Liam decides to leave it, and Rossi Callahan is coming out to it. Rossi wearing number 12, playing in the full forward position. Takes it off and across to Inder Brady. Inder Brady has the ball in but takes a shot on goals. Uh, unfortunately, this one goes wide. The right idea, got the quick free, turned, took his shot, but the accuracy let him down. But the score remains just one point for Clanny Gale, no score for Elfin. As Elfin have had a number of attacks in the last few minutes. Philip O'Neill kicking this one out from this side of the goals. Lost it towards this side of the field there. 
Chris Roddy went for the ball for a fin. Chris Roddy is uh, in possession of the ball, being chased by Daniel Carney. Chris Hassidy cuts inside and gets it across there towards Rossi Galland. This is obviously a ploy of Alfin's clear to get the ball to Rossi. He gets the ball in. Uh, Sarah Dockery, Louis Dockery, number eight has it. He's at a difficult angle, but he kicks the ball across the goal. And a good point there by Louis Dockery. In a very tight angle, Louis, being in his first senior championship game for Alfin, gets the opening score for Alfin. A good point from a very tight angle, and the sides are tied up at one point apiece. And we're gone almost 10 minutes into this game. The ball seems to have disappeared into the wilderness behind the goal. So the young girl now retrieves it. As Phelan O'Neill has his first kick out from the 21. Straight out the middle, the ball uh, in the middle of the field, David Tansy going up for it, uh, he doesn't get it, but Kieran Brady does, Kieran Brady and the ball for Finn feeds it back then as far as Ludacri, Ludacri gets it across here, uh, and this side to Brendan Neary, Brendan Neary lofts it in into the danger zone again, but this one the fullback seems to have it well covered again, and uh, the fullback is Joey Connachton, very experienced player indeed uh, for Clanny Gale, and he gets it out uh, towards the middle of the field, Clanny Gale launching an attack again, ball comes down, Sherlock, Sherlock kicking it in, the danger zone in the front of the full bus, the uh, corner forward is going in after the ball, going across the goal zone, the 14 has it, that's Greg Kikina, uh, he tries to get it back, but it's cleared out a little bit by the Elfin defence, uh, uh, one attack in, man being challenged by three Elfin men, but they don't foul him, the ball uh, then gets as far as number 13, number 13 is James Nocton, James Nocton, goes on the ball too long, good tackling by the Elfin defence there, the uh, uh, Renegade forward is not going to have to in fact, uh, penalised for uh, questioning the referee's decision there and Elfin gains some extra yardage. Very good tackling by the Elfin defence, getting no room at all. Swarming in on the Panagale attack. And they get a reward with a free out, which Dermot Heary takes. Out towards the side of the field there, Chris Foddy has it. Chris uh, tries to uh, feed the ball inside, but she does, but there's nobody there. Joey Connachton making his way over. And uh, he clears the ball in towards the centre there, and uh, number nine, Dave Kelly has the ball on his own 50-yard line. Kicks the ball uh, downfield, this challenge between uh, Joe and Joe Burke. Joe Burke uh, is fouled by the Panagale go forward, and uh, the Elfin defence uh, on top at this stage of the game. Kieran Brady kicks the ball up toward Rossi Callaghan, a nice ball, a low ball coming in front of him. Uh, Rossi delivers it now to the corner there. There's, uh, Brian Higgins is going in after this one, but uh, he doesn't get it. It's stopped instead by number five, that's Paul White. Paul White is fouled, and it's a free out for Panagale. Free taken quickly, blocked down by Ender Brady, but uh, too close to the ball, says the referee, and he awards another free to Danny Gale a little bit further out the field this time. Ball in the centre of the field between Ian and Gavin and Dermot Neary. If, uh, neither of them uh, gets it as it uh, goes instead to David Kelly. David Kelly getting the ball in front of goals. Uh, number 15 chasing for it. Uh, number 15 gets it. Uh, Martin Buck stays inside him. But uh, the Clan Gale man feeds it back now to Martin Keener. Martin Keener has the ball in front of the goal and it picks it over the bar. And that is the second player Clan Gale, the scorer of this time, Martin Keener. Clan Gale two points. Elfin one point. And we're about 12 minutes into the first half. Brian Markham has discarded the cap as he plays the ball on the 21. And yet another kick out. The referee getting impatient. The slow pace of proceedings. As the ball comes out into the centre of the field. And Louis Doppy goes up for this one and he takes it well. Louis Doppy going on a solo run and he crosses the 50 yard line. He's been chased back by the midfield parker. He has a few yards at him at this stage. Louis has gone all the way in. He takes his shot and he kicks it wide. Great catch by Louis Dockery, a great uh, attacking solo by him, but the finish just let him down when he had got into a good scoring position in front of the goals. Chance certainly for Elfin to equalise there. Louis just marginally wide. Bellum O'Neill prepares to take the kick out. David Tansy goes up for some of the ball comes easily into the hands of uh, David Kelly. He uh, feeds it in over the far side. But Tom McDermott is chasing for the ball there with the, the number 13 for Clanny Gale. The number 13 is James Nocton. James Nocton is fouled and it's a free which is uh, attempted to be quick.